Hi friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to see the difference between dry heat sterilization and moist heat sterilization. In dry heat sterilization, dry heat that is heated air or fire is used for sterilization. In moist heat sterilization, moist heat that is hot water vapor is used for sterilization. Dry heat has low penetration power. Moist heat has high penetration power comparing to dry heat. Dry heat sterilization method is used for materials that are damaged by high pressure or moisture. Moist heat sterilization method is used for heat sensitive materials and materials through which steam is permeable. The killing effect of dry heat is due to protein denaturation, oxidative damage and the toxic effect of elevated levels of electrolytes. The killing effect of moist heat is due to the denaturation and coagulation of protein. Time and temperatures used depend on the method employed and the product treated. For example, hot air oven is the most widely used method of sterilization by dry heat. Usually a holding period of 160 degrees Celsius for one hour is used. But for ophthalmic surgery instruments, a sterilizing time of two hours at 150 degrees Celsius is recommended. For oils, glycerol and dusting powder, a holding time of 1 hour at 150 degrees Celsius is used. Autoclave is the most widely used method of sterilization by moist heat. Sterilization by autoclave is carried out at temperatures between 108 degrees Celsius and 147 degrees Celsius. Aqueous solutions are sterilized between 108 degrees Celsius and 126 degrees Celsius. In a completely moisture-free atmosphere, bacteria are more resistant to heat. They are killed when oxidation of the cell's constituents occurs. And this requires much higher temperature than that needed for coagulation of protein. And because of this, dry heat sterilization process takes a long time. Moist heat sterilization process is much more rapid and effective than dry heat. In dry heat sterilization, High temperature is used under dry condition. But in moist heat sterilization, high pressure and high temperatures are used under wet conditions or under moisture. Dry heat sterilization is used to sterilize glass vase, forceps, scissors, slides, cover slips, needles, mouths of cultured tubes dusting powders, liquid paraffins, glycerol, oils, surgical instruments and it is also used for destruction of carcasses, infected laboratory animals, etc. Moist heat sterilization is used to sterilize dressings, instruments, laboratory wear, media, pharmaceutical products, milk and milk products, dry fruits, wine, beer and other alcoholic products, vaccines, serum, body fluids, etc. Sterilization control for dry heat sterilization. The spores of a non-toxigenic strain of Clostridium tetany are used as a microbiological test of dry heat efficiency. Brown stew, thermocouples are also used. 
the spores of bacillus stereodermophilus are used as a microbiological test of moist heat efficiency chemical indicators autoclave tapes and dermocouples are also used advantages of dry heat sterilization it is non toxic it is non corrosive for metal and sharp instruments advantages of moist heat sterilization it is non toxic inexpensive rapidly microbicidal and sporicidal it is effective in killing fungi bacteria spores and viruses disadvantages of dry heat sterilization slow rate of heat penetration and microbial killing it is a time consuming process high temperature are not suitable for most materials cannot be used for sterilization of fabrics plastics or rubber wrap disadvantages of moist heat sterilization steam impermeable materials cannot be sterilized by moist heat sterilization example oils fats etc moist heat sterilization will corrode instruments this is due to the instruments remain wet after sterilization i'm concluding this video here and see you soon in my next video thank you friends